Did you know you can actually build a secure off-grid communication system using easily acquired parts? With Chatterbox, you can do exactly that. I'm going to show you how to build a secure communication device, as well as how to create your own private encrypted mesh cluster with it. Your cluster won't need internet, cell service, or any other centralized service. You will need access to a 3D printer, some basic soldering skills, and you'll need to gather together these components. We will wire together a real-time clock, a GPS module, and a T-Deck, as shown here. The first thing I do is wire the real-time clock and GPS to a Grove-compatible plug, which can be plugged straight into the side of the T-Deck. If you take a close look at the wiring image shown a few seconds ago, you'll see the connections are simple. Do not attempt this unless you fully understand what you are seeing here. Working with electricity and lithium polymer batteries can be dangerous. We connect both components as I2C components, so you'll need to switch the GPS module to I2C. Here I use heat shrink wrap to insulate all soldered wiring connections. Now I will solder the real-time clock to the wire bundle. The real-time clock allows your device to have a higher level of security with Chatterbox, as well as to power up and operate securely in the absence of GPS. I also cover many component surfaces with electrical tape as insulation to prevent shorting. Ideally, you wouldn't need to do that, but since we are just dropping these components in together, they need to be insulated. Now, to the case. I melt in a pair of knurled nuts to hold the back cover in place. Notice that I now have the Grove plug connected to the T-Deck. I've moved the T-Deck speaker out of place. I've added an antenna pigtail connector, and I've removed the protective screen cover from the T-Deck. Carefully insert the T-Deck. It will be a tight fit, and it's easy to damage the T-Deck, so be careful. Check the polarity of your battery with the T-Deck connection. If you arrange the components just right, they will just fit. If they don't, rearrange your components. Now we are ready to install the Chatterbox firmware, which is known as flashing the device. Use a good USB data cable, not a charging cable. Chatterbox requires a compatible SD card. Hold the trackball button while powering on to put the device into a special boot mode. On your computer, visit chatters.io slash flash. Choose your country and device, and then follow the prompts to install the firmware. Occasionally, it can take a couple of tries to complete this. When it's finished, disconnect the device, power it off, and then back on. Now, we can name the device. We are also creating a new private cluster in this case. So I will choose root, name the cluster, and finish with the defaults. I was sneaky and built a second device while you weren't looking. So I'm going to set that device up as well. This will not be a root device because I'm adding it to my new cluster. I can add many devices to a private cluster. This is called onboarding. On the root device, choose to onboard a new device. On the new device, choose to join a cluster. The devices will find one another and exchange some information. When it's complete, we have a secure communication cluster running. I'm now going to add several more devices to the cluster. The more devices I have in my mesh cluster, the more resilient it becomes and the further it delivers message and location data. As I add each new device, the others will automatically discover and trust the new device. This is because there is a chain of trust with the root device at the top. Any device can verify its identity to other devices using verifiable proof it obtained from the root during onboarding. Even the data exchanged during onboarding is encrypted and signed during transmission. The onboarding happens over LoRa frequencies. Lastly, I'm going to add a couple of GPS nodes to the cluster. They can serve as base stations, trackers, location beacons, and more. Now, my cluster is ready. I can position the nodes, hand devices out to my friends and family, or just store it away for a later time. For more about Chatterbox, visit chatters.io.